Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo Tooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. The last time, we finished up the remainder of what we could accomplish in Grunty Industries, finally, after like six episodes there or more. We were there for a while, anyways. Um, and now we can finally head over to the seventh world, Hailfire Peaks. And what do you know, we've already got one Jiggy out of this world, thanks to, uh, Actually, I think we've got a few things out of this world, thanks to... No, I think we just got the one Jiggy. I was thinking we got more than one or something, but then I realized that the uh, Ice Key or whatever, or the Mega Globo, didn't really count, so... Oh, it's not going to tell me until I go in there. But, anyways, let's just head on in there and do some fire and ice type things. Ooh, and it is kind of fiery. Oh, if it isn't our good buddy, Gobi. Seriously, you're gonna go to the lava world and hang out in the train station? Not sure what the whole point of that is, but... Okay, if you insist. Let's see what we got here. That's probably death on a platform if I try to go in there. I see a tent. Let's go check that out without burning ourselves to a crisp. Can't believe we actually lost a Kunga last episode. Twice. Not just once. Twice. I failed miserably. Um, right, let's go check out the tent and let's go check out that branching path over there. I can already tell this is going to be a big level, and there's a uh, dragon trying to attack me. That's not good. You leave me alone, dragon. I'm just looking around for stuff. How many eggs do I need? Eh, I need some clockwork eggs. Ow! You know, with the part where you're not trying to destroy me. I'm going to take a wild guess and say he's a boss that we probably want to get to. Ow! Come here, you little shit. There we go. Need your health. Okay, it's not it's not very often that bosses actually attack you from off screen where you can't even see them. That's just ridiculous. And okay, we're still in the lava side, and now we're up on a platform apparently with some notes and a big fiery hand. You know what? Let's try taking care of you with the old ice eggs of poopy. Yeah, hey, it worked. What do you know? I wasn't sure if it would. There we go. Thank you. Ow. No, 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 no. no. Banjo, don't die. I see a Globo, so I'm gonna guess that Mumbo's over there somewhere. Um, come on, get over here, get over here. There we go. And I see something over here with the dragon blowing up a area for me. Alright, fantastic. That works. Thank you for the uh, destruction there, buddy. Uh, let's get the globo. Oh, it's not burning over here. Except for you are, whoever you are. Who the fuck are you? I get the feeling I'm gonna die in this level at least. At least once. And what do you know? There it is. We're off to a great start. Alright, hang on, give me a second here. Alright, anyways, let's go exploring the right side over there since, uh... We'll, go, we'll explore the left side in a little bit. I just want to explore the right side. And what does this sign say? Anything useful? Hey, warp pad. That helps. Warning. Trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. Okay, so... I see a banjo sign, which I don't think I can do anything about because they said something about being cooked. Yeah, okay, that's not going to happen. So you know what? I'm going right back to where I was planning on going, which is over here. Not sure what this is, but let's just find out. And you, leave me alone, you little fire imp thingy. Oh, 
I notice the dragon's not attacking me as much right now. Ooh, I see a jiggy. Just not sure how to get to it, but... Actually, you know what? Let's try something here. I wonder if my clockwork egg is small enough to fit in the hole. Nah, not quite. Oh well, we tried. Okay, there's that right there, and what's over here? Anything? I see a tunnel, but I can't get to it yet, I don't think. Okay, you. Who the fuck is attacking me? Is that still the fireball? Or is that actually something else? Okay, it's still the fireball. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was something different. Coliseum Kickball Stadium. Hey, didn't we have a kickball stadium in like the first game world area place? And what the fuck? How are you attacking me in here, bro? Unless you're somebody different. Something attacked me. What the fuck was that? Okay, how about you don't attack me again? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say you are... Yeah, you're an evil little bastard. Goodbye. I liked it better when they didn't try to attack me. But, oh well. They grow up so fast. Uh, oh, you probably were was attacking me. You little shit. I see something to blow up. Suction boots. I see something else to blow up. This guy right here. You wanna attack me, buddy? Yeah, screw you too. Okay, I see suction boots over here. Not sure where they go, so we'll check those out in a minute. Uh, let's see. Oh, the lava rocks to a Jinjo, who may or may not try to kill us. Let's see, what else we got? You. Die like the miserable bastard that you are. I see you over there, you little fuck. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, there's the, uh, the claw climber boots. Okay. Let's go figure out what, what that does for us. This guy better not try to attack me from the the right side over there. He's trying to attack me. No, get up there, you bastard. Okay, you know what? We're going to try this again. Alright, let's go one more time. This time he's dead, so he can't attack me as much. Except for the guy on the right, still can. Alright, we made it up here, and there's a door. Okay. Um, I was hoping for a teleport pad, but... Uh, let's see where this goes. Hey, a Cheeto page! And hey, what do you know? We got five. I'm tempted to go get that right now to see what it is. Hey, I'll tell you what, if I manage to die again in this area, this level, I'll just go get that just to see what it is. But let's see what's over on this little platform right here. You know what? Let's take a look around first just to see what we got. Uh, let's see, we got. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot. I don't think that's where he came in from, right here. But, you know what? Let's go check it out real quick, see where it takes us. So I'm, so I'm guessing since this is the lava side, they're the world split up into two like little mini areas, one lava, one hail fiery or hilly. 
And this appears to be a banjo by himself type of thing. So maybe there's a split pad around here somewhere. Hopefully. You know what? Uh, we gotta get down there at some point, so... Let's try to activate this banjo switch and then try to go over there and see what we got. Um... Ow. Okay, I did not see you over there. Okay, another banjo switch, which I can't get to. That's fantastic. Okay, there's got to be a split-up pattern here somewhere. I doubt it's on the other side of this area. But we can always go check. And you, leave me alone, guy. Ah! Crap. I wasn't I wasn't trying to fall down there. Doesn't seem to like there's a whole lot else to do in this room. Oh, except for right here. Hey, what do you know? Another door. And this takes us to the kickball stadium. Okay, so we're kickballing again. Um, what the heck? I don't. Oh, we're oh we're in uh, Mayhem Temple again. Okay, I was about to say I did not have that many warps unlocked for Hailfire Peaks, but okay. Uh, that helps, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna guess there's another uh, kickball tournament thing here since they kind of brought us over here. So you know what? Let's go turn into the uh, snowball again real quick, and then we can try this again. Thank you. Uh, Wumba, Wumba, where are you, Wumba? You're over here, aren't you? Yes, I think you are. There we go. Oh, we haven't been back here in a few episodes. Well, every time we turn it into cheat, we do. So it looks like we have a kickball tournament coming up, so we'll do that, and then we'll go get the other cheat. Whatever the cheat may be. I still can't believe I didn't think to shoot those damn eggs into that stupid, uh, snake, uh, temple thing with the Tarkazan's treasure. I was an idiot. What can I say? Okay, so let's play a game then. Unless we something. No, this is the same game as last time, isn't it? Final rematch. Yeah, this is the same thing. I thought there was gonna be like a. Um... I kind of forgot how to play since it's been a while, but. Okay, I think the red ones were the bad ones, weren't they? Yeah, I think they were. Yeah, I'm failing miserably here. I'm just gonna lose. Screw it. I'm not even gonna try, because I kind of forgot how to play the damn game. Oh well, we'll try this again in a little bit. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, what's the point of coming over to the kickball lobby if there's nothing really to do over here? Um, oh, we can enter the... Okay, so this is what we gotta do apparently. I hear you, you little bastard, and I'm not falling for it. Hey, what do you know? Here he is. 
Coliseum Professional Kickball Championships. They like to do things a little differently. The lowest score always wins. I can handle that. What's over here, though? Um, a whole lot of nothing. So, okay, so it's another round of kickball, except they said something about the lowest score, so... Considering how badly I was sucking right there, that shouldn't be too hard to handle. Unless these guys are actually the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, we gotta try to make other people's goals, gotcha. Hey, I suddenly have, like, a lot more points than I need. Or is it the red balls when I need them? Okay, this is not the, what I'm trying to do here, guys. Stop making balls of my goal, you bastards. I'm trying to lose here. Instead, I got, like, the highest score. You know what, I'm gonna try playing defensively this time. I'm gonna try staying at my goal and hoping that I can block all the balls. Let's do that. There we go, this is working. Come on guys, hit me. So far I'm winning. And by winning I mean not... No, no, I didn't want to get any balls in my hole, you bastard. Come on, somebody put something in the purple ball. No? Maybe it'll be a tie. There we go, I think I managed to win. Fantastic. Not too shabby. I kind of like this one a little better since it's a whole lot less trying to move around and find the balls. So this works. Wait, can you get negative points? Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you gotta do. Okay. This kind of sucks, but okay. Bastard. You yellow bastard. Wow, that's a so this is basically the same as the first round of the first game, except different colored balls. You bastards. Ah, you're tricky little sons of bitches. Alright. Oh, not what I was trying to do. Go in there, you ball. Come here. Did I win? What? what? How, how did he get 38 and I got 39, you son of a bitch?
I hate kickball. It's a passion. I never was very good at sports. Son of a bitch. Come on, give me some balls, give me some balls. Come on, I got the high score right now for... Oh, what the fuck? That little bastard... Uh, they keep winning by one freaking point, you little sons of bitches. I'm gonna try this one more time and I'm gonna throw my controller at my TV screen or something. You know, the calming way. Screw you, bastard. Oh, sure. Put them all near their holes. I'm gonna give you some more balls. Give me the ball, fucker. Yeah, it's a shame you can't just restart the damn match, because I'm already telling him to lose right here. Yeah, I'm going to lose. I'll take this one. Or maybe not. Stop tackling me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I lost. You son of a bitch. Alright, how about you actually put the balls near my hole this time? as good as I thought I was. You son of a bitch, how'd you steal the ball from me, you son of a bitch? I almost had that and then he stole the ball from me, what the fuck? You son of a bastard. Jeez, these guys are brutal. You kick the damn ball, you stone bear bastard, son of a bitch. Not kick him towards his hole, you son of a bastard. How'd that yellow guy get 31 points already? What the fuck? Damn, some of these guys are good. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time on screen, and then if I fail again, I'm just gonna do it off screen, because this is taking, like, forever. Come on, give me. Okay, why you gotta screw with me like that, game? Come on, give me some balls. What the 
fuck? Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, I finally managed to win that damn thing after three more tries, and now we open up the uh, final kick one, which I'm going to assume has yellow and red balls, so this is going to fail again. Um, if I fail more than twice, I'm just going to do it off screen, because I'm not going to do no more five matches like I did last time. Screw it. I'm just going to keep putting the red balls in my hole and the yellow balls somewhere else. Strip. No, I didn't mean to put the yellow red ball in there, you fuck. Come on, give me less points. Much better. Yes! I did it on my first try. Fantastic. That was actually easier. Because they were all trying to get everyone else's points down. Did we get a trophy? Hey! We get a jiggy. And we got an achievement, too. What do you know? Uh, they think it's all over. Win the Coliseum Kickball Final. Not too shabby. What are our last three, anyways? Uh, bring Saber Man back to life. I have no idea. Uh, Pretty Rainbow. I have no idea. Get rid of Grunty and save us from her rhymes. I'm gonna guess that's the end of the game, so, okay. But what do you know? We finally managed to beat this little bastard. And now, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna go back to, uh. I'm gonna go back to Banjo World. Or Maya Hip Temple, or whatever you wanna call the damn area. There we go. Alright, back to Wumba. And then after this, we'll go put up the, the cheat pages, and then... Die. Well, we're not gonna die, even though we might. Uh, we'll go get the... put up the cheat pages, see what we get. Enter that, and then... I think we can still do a few more things. Excuse me. Um, uh, what's we call it? Uh, Hailfire Peaks. Or it might just be a shorter episode than usual today. One of the, one of the two. I still gotta record uh, Legend of Dragoon tonight, too. So it might end up being a shorter episode than usual. Okay, world exit. And let's go find Mr. Mr. Cheap Bags. Okay, Jinjo Village. And let's go find Cheeto. I'm gonna guess there's one more cheat after this, because there's still two more pages in Hailfire, and probably three in the last world, uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. So I'm guessing we still have one more cheat after whatever it is we're gonna get now. It's a shame that Cheeto doesn't start looking better as you give him more of his pages. It'd be a nice little touch if you give him more pages and he suddenly, like his, uh, like his spine wasn't bent or something, or his little page mustache wasn't all torn or something. That'd, that'd be a cool little feature, but I guess, I guess the N64 didn't want to try it out. Your fourth cheat is Honeyback. Um, not sure exactly what that means, but it looks like it has something to do with our health. Maybe it'll be like the other game where, uh... Go away. Where we get double the health or something. But then again, that was got near Grunty's lair, not from a cheat code. Um... Health back, or honey back. Um... 
Honestly, that, might, that sounds like it might be like something that regenerates your health or something. Because you get honeycombs back after taking damage. That's the only thing I can think of. Unless it's something entirely different that I'm not aware of. Like me crashing my head into the wall. It's a shame there's not a silo add in. Spiral Mountain, it'd be easier to get out there for those cheap pages, but ah well, who cares? I still hate you statue things with the burning passion because you're always trying to kill me for no reason. I don't know what I ever did to you, but you leave me alone. Alright, honey back. Let's try this. Let's see, we got a H. We got a U. We got a N. No, you son of a bitch! I think that thing was trying to aim for that little shit down there. You know what? Screw both of you. Get out of my way, you old fucks. Alright, you know what? Try that again. Yeah, I think it tried... I think the auto-aiming tried to go after one of those guys, and that's what happened, so... Screw those little fucks. Okay, where's my Y? At least you know you're spelling it right, because it'll tell you, hey, fuck off, you did it wrong. Now start over from the beginning instead of just the last letter you missed. Alright, the Honeyback Cheat will automatically replenish your energy over time. Okay, so it is a health back. That's pretty cool, actually. I like the sound of that. You know what, let's get damaged and see how well it works. Okay, we got two gone. Three. I want to get all the way down to the bottom and see just how just how fast it restores it. Yeah, right, close enough. Come here, crispy. All right. Let's see how well this thing works. And while we're at, while we're here, we might as well get some more feathers and stuff. Mm. All right. Where's my health? I wonder if you got to be standing still for it. No. It just automatically regens. It seems like once every five seconds or so. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's not as not anywhere near as fast as the uh, just sitting in our backpack. It'd be nice if it was a little faster. That way, that way you uh, get your health back when your health bar is still up there. But that's useful now because Dewey finally has a way to recover her health by herself. And I guess that kind of makes the I guess that kind of makes the uh, the the shack pack kind of useless now since we can just recover just by standing around so oh well I still like it it still seems like it'll be highly useful we're becoming pretty invincible so far I mean we can't take damage from falling down from mega heights and if we do take any damage from something like this jump we'll just get it all right back anyway so I like the way that looks We already got what was up there, right? You. Well, that's not what I was planning on doing, but okay. I think we got the Jinjo up there, right? Yeah, I think we did. Alright, anyways, let's see if there's anything else in that kickball stadium. I don't think there is, but let's just check just to make sure. And then if not, 
and then we'll go somewhere else. Okay, let's see. We got we got to find a split pattern here cuz oh, there's a split pad right there. What do you know? That makes our life much easier. That's like what I was looking for and hoping for, so it's there. Fantastic. I like the way they do that. Ah, don't fall off the edge, you bear bastard. Okay, what's out here, anyways? And I see another pad I can pull up. Um, this is. Oh, this is uh, some steps that we can use for something. Ooh, a Jinjo. Don't I have all the red Jinjos? Nope. I do not. So you might actually be not a Jinjo for once. But you are you are being kind of vocal, so that might that might be the Okay. Uh, I don't think we were supposed to get in here thanks to that poisonous waterfall, but I think we managed. Come on, get me up there, get me up. There we go. Ooh, you took a lot of damage right there. Let's go ahead and regen real quick. I can't tell if that honeycomb over there is evil or not. Yeah, he's an evil son of a bastard. Screw you. Okay, let's see. We got that. Um, oh, that's kind of near the beginning of the area, so okay. We've got what we need so far. The only problem is I'm not sure how Banjo's going to get up to those two switches that he has for himself. Since they're kind of up there, and they're kind of... You know what? Let's start with blowing up this. A whole bunch of eggs. Okay, that's wildly not helpful, but I guess we need it for something. Alright, Banjo. Your time to shine there, buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, by shine, I don't mean fall down the wall. I mean, try to figure out where the heck we gotta get to. Uh, let's see. We gotta go... Unfortunately, Banjo doesn't have access to the spring shoes by himself, unlike Miss Kazooie. Um, maybe there's another split pad in here somewhere? There's gotta be something for him to climb. I'm just not seeing it. I keep trying to roll and I realize that I don't have the damn roll and... You know, your camouflage would be significantly more effective if you stayed one color than Mr. Minjo. That I might actually think that you're something that's collected for me. But if you just keep on changing colors, I'm gonna know, like, as soon as I come back in the room, that you're not real. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do as Mr. Mr. Joe by himself, but we can try. Who do you think you are, Slick? Uh, let's see, we got... Yeah, I don't think there is anything else we can do here. Cause that's just the entrance, right? I think. Leave me alone, Mr. Dragon thing that's trying to kill me. Uh, let's see... 
Yeah, okay, there's not a whole lot we can do with Banjo. Um, so maybe something we can do with Kazooie by herself? There has to be a reason for the split pad. Okay, let's try going up there as Kazooie by herself to see if there was something we missed. For some reason this rock looks like it should be able to be destroyed, but I don't think it is. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. It just looked like it it just looked like it could have been destroyed. Run Kazooie! Don't get hit by the guy on the other wall who doesn't seem to be attacking me all that often. Okay, yeah, pressing the X button does cancel your suction shoes. Okay, so that helps. Uh, more shoes that I don't need. You guys always do that. You put them up, you put them back at the top, and then by the time I get the suction shoes ability, you might as well have the fall down without taking any damage. So you can just fall instead of suctioning your way down. I could have swore I saw something down there. Oh, well, that's just where we exited last time, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it might be. Um, I think that is where we exited last time. But I can't remember off the top of my head. So... That's not what I was trying to do there. Alright, Kazooie, let's try this again without the failing miserably. You can die. Oh, now you try to attack me. A bit late for that, isn't it? Will you go up the damn stuff? No, because of what you son of a bitch! How are you gonna fall down off the. <sighs> what the fuck? How are you gonna not take damage and then still fall off the, end of the damn ledge? You son of a bird bastard! Okay, you. Let's get rid of you real quick. Does anyone else ever play as Kazooie and then go to, uh. And then go to try to release Kazooie from the backpack to run faster, then you realize, oh wait, I already have Kazooie, I don't have to do that. I do that all the time, I keep trying to re release her from her backpack, and then, oh wait, I don't need to do that. There we go. Alright, Kazooie, um... That's a banjo switch, so there's nothing I can do right there, I don't think. Eh? Um... Why are there two banjo switches that I can't get to? There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Uh, did we already go down? Yeah, we already went down here, didn't we? Okay, we can't do a whole lot else over here, so you know what? I'm gonna go back to Mr. Banjo, and then we're gonna go try to explore a little more of the world before we exit because... We spent way too long on kickball, and I want to compensate for by doing other stuff, too. Let's check our total so far. I know we've got at least one of pretty much everything in this area, so f except for Honeycomb, I think. Okay, we got two of every- uh, two- two, uh, jiggies, ten notes, and one of everything else except for the notes- or the honeycombs and the moves. Okay, let's go see if we can find any of those. Didn't I unlock a fly pad somewhere? Maybe we can find out where that boss is, fly up to him, and then destroy him. You know, let's try doing that. Um... Yep, I don't have any more pads. Uh, you know what? Forget the fly pad, let's go over here. Let's see what's over this way. I see something crispy. Ooh, notes. Am I 
climb up this? Okay. I wasn't sure because it, it's not very 3D looking. It's very attached to the pillar. Okay, camera, at any point you want to go back to my control, I'd be more than happy to use you for camera-related purposes. Um, not sure where we are. I saw notes, but I wanted to see over here first. You know what? We'll go back over this way, and then we'll come back this way in a minute. And then we'll check out whatever that is down there. Okay, ice eggs, ho! Don't you dare! That was good aim. Fantastic. Ah! Son of a banjo, you son of a bitch! Well, luckily, I don't take any fall damage. Um, all right, we'll go back up there in a minute. I want to see what's up here, though. I, I did see the the move tutor. It's gotta get up there in a minute. Um, what is this? The lava side's still okay. It's not particularly helpful, but okay. You fuck off, dude. Stuff to kill, I guess. Oh, there's the note. There, there's the move right there. Alright, what do we got, buddy? Oh, it's the banjo only move. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, the only split pad that I know of is way over there, though. Ow, Banjo, don't kill yourself, please. Come on, get up, get up, get up. You know, if you guys took less time, like, sitting there, and more time standing up, you wouldn't be dead half the time. This looks very ominous in here. Uh, inside the volcano, that's probably not good for my health, but okay. I see switches. You know what? Let's see what these switches are. Probably some kind of a jiggy. And it has a Roman numeral 1 on it. Okay. And it seems like my breath is running out from the hot air. Kind of makes sense. Because if you ever tried to breathe really hot air, like smoky air, it kind of doesn't work out for your lungs all that well. But at least it's not going down anywhere near as fast as the gas can room in Grunty Industries. That was ridiculously fast. Like, so fast it was... Okay. Maniac. Oh, and I see uh, something over there. Honeycomb piece. Okay. Don't know if I can get to that yet, but I see it. Uh, where did you go to, Mr. Five? I know I saw you... Oh, there we go. Come here, you bastard. Where'd you go, you fucker? There we go. And there's another one. Ooh, that one's got a jiggy on it. Very nice. Alright, we got a jiggy for our troubles. So far we've got three for this world, two in this episode. We're not doing too bad at all so far. Except for the part where I fail at kickball and I died when I... Fucker! How about you fuck off there, dude? You! Yeah, take that, you bastard. Oh, um, I guess thawing him out of the ice is probably not a good idea. There we go. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that breath attack that we had that might not work out so well in a fire-based world. 
Who knows, maybe it'll be super effective against uh, enemies in the ice world. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna die to get out of here, and then next episode, we will continue to explore Hellfire Peaks with our new uh, restore health. Which, actually, I don't think I am dying. The amount, it's taking as long to recover my health it is to, as it is to damage me, so I'm not dying. Well, that's pretty awesome, actually. But anyways, um, next time we'll disco uh, discover more of Hailfire Peaks. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.